Here is my review for these Lightning Mini Training Balls made by Lithos, a, uh, a pickleball brand that I was initially attracted to a couple months ago just because of the cool uh, diamond-like design. And they had these little training balls which they sent over to me so that I could test them out and see what all the hype is about. Uh, they're about the size of a golf ball, maybe one quarter the size of a normal pickleball. And uh, they're hard plastic and probably a little bit firmer than your standard pickleball. And most definitely firmer than a pickleball. Um, after trying them out for a couple of days, the first thing I noticed while hitting them is that it requires very little pressure to get the ball to jump off your paddle. Here you can see me switching to a normal pickleball just to test just how much more pop these balls have on the paddle. And it's significant. And honestly, that's the name of the game with these mini training balls. They will uh, act more or less like a normal pickleball, but they will come at you faster. And the more pressure your opponent puts on the ball, sending it to you, the faster you have to react to get it back. And also add to that fact that the balls are smaller and uh, I guess a little bit different in color than your standard uh, fluorescent yellow, um, but they're harder to see. And so it acts as a training tool for your hand-eye coordination as well. Another thing to note is that the mini training balls do not bounce on the court surface like you might expect um, them to. Definitely not like a standard pickleball. They definitely bounce a lot higher uh, and that can be a little discombobulating. So I think dinking or bounce drills are kind of off the table. So I would say I've spent about an hour using these uh, uh, drilling training with them and uh, by far the most effective uh, way to use them is volleys at the kitchen line with a runner-up drill being speed-ups, uh, unpredictable kind of speed-ups from your, your partner, your opponent to you, and then you try to either counter or reset. Here you can see my girlfriend getting a little mad at me because I'm bad at feeding balls and she just drills one in the head. So yeah, we discovered that they're kind of useful for training that. I should mention here that I am being very dumb by not wearing any eye protection. I've actually been injured twice um, with balls and once from a paddle. So I highly recommend you put eye protection on. And as a matter of fact, just recently I have found some eye protection that I am pretty comfortable wearing. Um, I still forget that I have them in my bag, but the more I play with them, the more I feel like they are the best out there. So uh, I'll try to do a review on that later. All right, back to the mini training balls. Uh, here is some nighttime footage that I took um, with a couple of my friends that I play a weekly game with. And I asked for their input. Uh, how they felt uh, about the balls while practicing with them. And I think that the main takeaway is that it's not at all like a pickleball, uh, but it does help with shot selection and time timing your shot selection. Most of us aren't playing uh, pro-level pickleball, so there's a lot of uh, unnecessary movement to a lot of our shots. Uh, follow through, pull back, what, what have you. And uh, when these balls are coming at you this fast, you don't have a lot of time to, you know, to get clever or tricksy. And I think that's how these balls are going to help people. And if you've played pickleball as long as I have, you know that some of those really great resets or counters that you make happen when you don't have a lot of time to think about what your body is doing. You just react and somehow your hands know what to do. Another aspect where I think that people will see improvement after using these balls is in paddle placement. Uh, part of being efficient with your shots is having your paddle in the right place at the right time so that you don't need to move it right before hitting the ball. All in all, I think these are a great addition to anyone's tour bag if they're intent on improving their game. Um, and I, for one, can attest to the fact that they do actually help. There's nothing scarier than popping a ball up and trying to defend a bunch of uh, putaways. But after using these training balls, it doesn't really phase me. I just put my paddle where it needs to be and try to get it back over. Would definitely recommend these Lithos training balls, and thanks for watching!